How dare you bring that man into our lives? Look, it doesn't mean anything. Don't insult my intelligence. He's on the run from the law. He's not a criminal. He's an activist. He's wanted by the police, and you helped him hide, Hawk. Do you know what you risked? All we've built together, your career, my life, our children's lives. You married me. If you can't give me all your love, give me enough respect to keep whatever this is out of our home. Ooh, juicy. I just want to keep watching. You know, <laughs> that was a clip from the new Showtime series, Fellow Travelers Following the Lives of Five Characters Over the Course of Several Decades, from the Vietnam War protests to the drug-fueled disco culture and the AIDS crisis. With us now is one of the stars of the show, and from hits like Get Out and Girls, of course. Please welcome the incredibly talented Allison Williams. You Hello. know this face right here. Yes, hey, Allison. Hi. Nice to have you oh, with thank us. You. <laughs> thank you. This show has really captivated audiences. People are really gravitating towards it. Why do you think it has such a pull for people? I think sadly there's a lot about this period in history and these themes that aren't as different as we'd like them to be. So I think there is that kind of tragic resonance with, yes, maybe people don't know about the lavender scare during the McCarthy era, Washington climate. Um, maybe people don't know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people don't know as much about the AIDS crisis as perhaps they should. And a lot of people just might not know about this time in history. And it repeats itself if we don't remember our lessons. And so I think it's a really important project for people to watch about about people being forced to make choices because of context and politics and the political climate and the social climate and um, everything in its time. Plus, it goes from 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, so you're, you're about traveling to say that. Yeah. through quite a bit of time. The show takes place over a span of several decades. It yeah. jumps around. What was it like for your character? It was really fun. I mostly played people in one time. Um, the longest period I've gotten to play someone was on Girls, but in this show to be able to play someone in her 20s, in the 50s, all the way to 60 in the 80s was just an incredible experience. This is a complex character to play yeah. in over several decades. How do you find that depth and, and what was it like to have to transform in age? Well, the depth was kind of on the page already. The script, immediately when I read it, I just thought this is a, a masterpiece. Ron Nicewinner wrote the most incredible mm -hmm. script. And I was able to read, I think, the first seven episodes in an outline for the eighth. So I knew her whole journey. So her soul was there, and I just had to like bring it to life. And aging, that process was amazing. It was a real team effort from, you know, hair, makeup, costume, the incredible experts that worked on this show that we were so lucky to work with, to a dialect coach I worked with who helped me literally pick notes on a scale for each decade because her, she was a very enthusiastic smoker. Her, <laughs> age, her voice dropped with age because her vocal cords were a little tired. And so, wow. you know, in the 50s, it's more idealistic and, you know, you're wearing a corset, changes the way you breathe and the way you talk. And then that kind of patrician accent of the time that she would have had as a very sophisticated Pennsylvania girl um, whose father was in politics. And then, you know, going through time, you know, two packs a day for a couple decades gets you to a certain register that we tried you to see hit the by the 80s. See the evolution there. What is it like for you to see a project to fruition and then to see the viewers really responding to it's it? It's great. Honestly, I think of my work as happening in like three different stages. One is the prep, one is the filming, and the, this is the third part where it actually doesn't belong to us anymore. It's very strange. It's kind of vulnerable. Away, yeah. we, yes, we've worked really hard to make this thing as good as we can, and then now it belongs to everybody else. And the incredible thing about being part of this show is the personal histories we're hearing from people who watch it, who either say, who identify my dad, with it. yes, my dad was gay when I was growing up and he was closeted and we didn't know and he came out later in life. And I've always had such complex emotions around that. And now that I've seen this show, I understand him more or are on any part of this experience from any vantage point. Um, that's been so rewarding. The idea that we're giving framework to people for understanding their own family members in the rear view mirror is so special. All right, you said it, That's it's special, powerful. it's must see TV, and you're doing a fascinating job. One more time for Allison yeah. Williams, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you very much. And by the way, new episodes of Fellow Travelers are available Friday on Paramount Plus, and be sure to check out her true crime podcast, Erased. All <laughs> six episodes are streaming right now, so go out and support her. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.